Uh, race, you've seen this team go through uh, the three-game losing streak that, that kind of started when you went down, and they've been able to come back around with a defensive intensity that has made a huge difference for this team. When you were watching from the sidelines, what did, what did you see? And as you were trying to get back, what have you seen with this team and the change they've made between those? Uh, yeah, I would just say uh, the fight and practice, uh, the intensity they have when going through scouts um, and the intensity they had going into all these games. Uh, when I've been out uh, since we started uh, winning the last couple of games, uh, the intensity's picked up. Uh, the focus has been better. And then again, just competing in practice every day, uh, I think it's making everybody better. And then, uh, yeah, I think that's really it. Zach and then Seth. Race, you've obviously had some some longer term injuries, one or two of them during your career. When this happened, I mean, was there a, a fear in your mind that this was something more serious? And, and I guess how, if there was, how quickly maybe did you kind of appreciate, okay, this is obviously something I got to take care of, but it's it's not like it's going to cost me my last year. Yeah, I mean, when it first happened, I thought it was pretty much over with uh, the way it felt, uh, the way I knew it looked. Uh, I pretty much thought it, uh, that my career was a uh, wrap. And then uh, uh, thankful for the uh, Iowa trainers, uh, Timmy G, uh, giving me MRIs quick, uh, getting all the results back, and then uh, just a lot of treatment, and uh, I'm able to run around uh, feeling better every day now. Seth and then Wilson. You say you're feeling better every day now. Just, I mean, I don't, whether or not you can put a percentage on it, just how are you feeling right now physically and just – Take us inside the recovery process a little bit, you know, whether physically or mentally, just what was all of that like for you? Um, yeah, I can't really put a percentage on it. I mean, I can do everything I could do. I think it's more of like a confidence thing. Uh, when you have a knee thing, uh, I think you lose a little bit of confidence uh, in things that you just naturally do. Uh, and then an everyday, everyday thing would just uh, be treatment, a lot of ultrasound, uh, keeping it strong. So a lot of uh, movement, um, single leg stuff just to uh, keep the leg strong even though it wasn't that long just uh, strengthening the muscles around my knee uh, I think yeah that's basically what we did Wilson then Mason uh, Ray so a week ago Mike was talking about X kind of seeing the game differently when he can't play because he has a different perspective I know this isn't your first injury but did, do you learn anything from your out do you see anything differently like that uh definitely um I mean, you're able to hear the coaches on the sideline during the games, and then again, you you're uh, if you're not practicing, I'm I'm standing by Coach Woodson, I'm standing by Coach Yaw and Coach Hunter and Coach Walsh, and just kind of hearing everything they're talking about and uh, having them really like walk me through what they're thinking, because I have that extra time. So I think I just learn um, just more about the game every day, and I think that's the same with X. Uh, I mean, he's he's on the sideline coaching everybody, so it's basically like when we, me and him were out, we had. Two more assistant coaches almost. Mason and Tyler. Race, I know you just returned this previous game, but over the past three victories now, you guys have kind of defeated teams offensively in three different ways. What have you guys developed? What's the new wrinkle in your offense that allows you guys to to defeat these teams in so many different ways? You know, I don't think that's to do anything with our offense. I think it was our defense. Um, I mean, the teams haven't been scoring nearly as many points. Uh, and I think that with this team, I think, uh, for us to go, it starts on defense. I mean, we have players who can score the ball uh, at will. So I think that if we can just get stops on defense, uh, we'll be in every single game and have a chance to win. So I, I think it doesn't have to do anything with our offense. I think it has to do everything with our defense. Tyler, then Jack. Hey, Race. I hope you're doing well. Um, I, you know, when you went down against Iowa, you, you were pretty emotional. I guess um, what all just do you remember from, from that play and what was kind of going through your head during those moments? Uh, yeah, like I said, uh, the way it felt, the way it looked, uh, I thought that my career here was over. And I think that's another thing uh, coming back. I have more, even more intensity and uh, want to practice every day, want to be here because uh, with that moment of the flash of everything here being done, uh, just being grateful to uh, be able to uh, continue to play here and uh, have the last uh, couple months to just be with the guys, be able to play, uh, be healthy, and not actually be over. Jack, then Lou. Hey, Race. Um, Coach Woodson talked about how he kind of challenged Jordan Geronimo and, and maybe Malik, too, to kind of step up when you were out. Um, just in those few games when, when you were on the bench, just what did you see from them that kind of allowed them to step up their game? Um, I mean, they got a 
And it's not anything new. I mean, we've been saying it all year. I mean, we're a team that's very deep. So uh, I think with Jordan coming into the, a new role of playing more minutes, uh, he's been playing really well. I'm really happy for him. And I mean, I'm texting him. I was texting him all the time when he first started. Uh, and then now he's really coming into himself. And I mean, I don't think any of us are surprised because we see it every day. I mean, I guard him. I guard him every day since he's been here. So, I mean, I've seen it. Uh, coach has seen it. I don't think anybody's really surprised. I think he's he's earned the right to play that much. And I got to try to get some minutes back from him. So, uh, hopefully he can keep that up and uh, keep helping us win. Lou and then uh, Alex. Uh, uh, Ray, you made it sound like the – first moment was sort of a down mood for you. What's your mood like now, feeling like things are bouncing back? Uh, yeah, like I said, I think I'm just grateful, uh, extremely grateful uh, when that happened. I just, I feel like I saw my whole career flash before my eyes. And um, with it not being over uh, and still being able to play, I think I just am grateful every day to come here, lift, I'll be able to put extra work in, be able to practice with the guys. Um, I think that's really it. I think my mood is really just happy and uh, grateful uh, to be here. Alex? Grace, you've been with Trace as long as anybody in this program in terms of playing together. Is this the best you've seen him play the stretch of games? And also, you know, we're seeing what he's doing to these guys in the games. What's it like for in practice right now when he's playing at this level? Um. He's tough to guard, definitely. Uh, I mean, it's some of what he did in the Hermes Day tournament. Um, it was in the, the year last year. He was he was pretty dominant, very dominant, I should say. Um, and I think that's something he can do every day. I think he has to continue to take care of his body, uh, listen to his body. And, uh, I mean, yeah, keep playing at a high level. I mean, it really helps, makes it easier for everybody else around him. Last question, Zach. Ray, I feel like we've asked you this a lot, but this is the last time we'll ask you and, and you're healthy enough to to play at home. I mean, just it, does it mean a little extra, I guess, that you did think maybe at one time your career was over. Now you're not just back, but you're going to be healthy enough to play in Minneapolis one more time. And how much family are, are you expecting there uh, tomorrow? Uh, I mean, definitely uh, going back home is it definitely means a little bit more to me. Definitely wants uh I want to win, um, never want to lose to the hometown team. Uh, then I have a ton of family coming. Uh, I couldn't even tell you. I know I got they near everybody's tickets. And then I know people who uh, bought tickets who are coming. So I probably have upwards to 50, 60 people that will be there. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, it definitely means more to play in front of friends and family like that. It's a lot of fun. I don't usually get a lot of people to come to games. I usually don't have anybody coming to the games unless it's an away game. So it definitely is good to have everybody there. It definitely means a little bit more.